Right, we're going to get right, right into this once again. Salam Tachim, Shalom Rastafari, fraternal greetings to our Wendemo Che, Echito Che, Anato Che, to the brothers, sisters, and the mothers, and and um, welcome to all others who might be curious. Um, this is on, um, we're going to touch on this imposter pope business and what connection, if any, does it have with um, I and I, Godfather, our Abba, and the King of Kings, Kedamawi, Haile Selassie, Haile Selassie, first the conquering line, the tribe of Judah, the elect of God, the King of Kings of Ethiopia. So here we're getting right into it. This is from um, part three of a video series, Mr. of Iniquity, um, um, his, when His Majesty, His Imperial Majesty, um, met with a certain pope, but then we started to, like, you know, watch other vids, you know, out there, like, for example, let's see if we have this other video um, up here, this one called, uh, uh, like, Satanic Vatican, we were just recently watching this, it's kind of a long video, as you mentioned, the first part of this, touching on um, JFK, the JFK connection, and his assassination, um, and the visit of his majesty, and the, the 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 standard of the currency, the whole economic system, you know, and since the Bible says that money, right? What does the Bible say concerning money? See, a, a lot of your, if you've heard, if you believe that that the Bible says money is is the root of all evil, then whoever told you that, knowingly or unknowingly, lied to you. That's not what the Bible says. That's not what the word of the true and living source called God in the English language. That's, that's not what the word says. But that's what a lot of, see, that's how Satan does it. Satan puts out these lies, right? And everybody says, well, yeah, it says it. And then when you try to correct them, folks, they will say, this is in, um, they will say, oh, it's the same thing. Same thing, you know. Um, you know, we need money. So, for the no, it says that the love of money. So, behind a lot of these murders, assassinations, um, wars, it's interesting. You will find it's like money. You know what I'm saying? You, you find that it's money that's behind that. The love of money. The love of money. You know, and the thing that a lot of folks don't don't get, and a lot of us didn't get it either. You know, is um. Why would these people who already have money, right, they have a lot of money, they live comfy lives, so forth and so on, it, it seems like an enigma. Why would they go around doing all these things and, and, and evil things, first of all, even though they, 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 they have, for, see, from where you're looking at it, what they have, you would be comfortable with, with half of it or 10% of it, if it was guaranteed, just to live your life and be able to take care of your family and your children and such and such. Most, not most, but the, a great majority of people in the world, that's that's the basic thing. You know, and they've been seduced into this love of money too, you understand, and, into this globalistic mind control, you know, we're saying through the love of money, right? But here's the word says. It says, for the love of money is the root of all evil. In First Timothy, chapter six, verse ten, it doesn't say, "For the love of money is the root of some evil." Or sometimes people, you know, sometimes it's because of, no, it says all evil. What, which while some coveted after, what is coveting? Isn't coveting uh, uh, breaking the commandment? You understand? Does, doesn't it doesn't violate one of the words, one of the ten words of the commandment? See, people tell you it's the ten commandments. That's another lie right there. I say about ghosts. A ghost is holy, even though they thought Christ was a ghost when he walked in the water, and he said he's no ghost. But then later on, they say, Go, you know, anyway. Um, that's that that's kind of lost in translation, you know, because of fake spear. You know, fake Spears translation or fake Spears, um, not his translation, but his um, his embellishing of what we call the King James um, Bible. Those sort of things have crept in. 
Here it says Covet. Covet. What does Covet mean? Nemenye. What does Covet mean? It means to to have a a a a desire. You understand? A desire for that which is not yours, basically. You know, you see somebody got something. Oh man, I wish I could get that. I, I, if I had that, such and such. That's coveting. I know you, you probably don't think so. This might be offending you. So go watch cartoons or something like that. You understand? Until the time comes. But it says that th these covet after, right? They have erred from the faith. They have erred from the faith, right? It's like when we look at the Vatican and we look at we look at that um, um, the Roman Church by and large, not the individuals, but especially the leadership, right? And pierce themselves through with many sorrows, with many sorrows. But thou, verse eleven, O man of God, flee these things. Don't say, well, get away when you can. No, it says flee, flee these things. That there's a fire. You, you won't be like, oh, you know, I guess in a couple minutes I'll get out of here. No, you, you will flee, right, because you don't want to get burnt, right? And follow after righteousness and follow after righteousness, godliness, resembling God in spirit and in truth, faith, love, patience, meekness. Verse 12, you've heard a lot. Fight the good fight of faith. Well, well, well actually, you haven't heard even that, that full phrase. They say just fight the good fight. Oh, you got to fight the good fight. No, 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 no. Fight the good fight of faith. I mean, at least take it to the comma so, it, so it's a proper phrase. You know what I mean? Fight the... Oh, and we see what happens? It's like what the word... There's an there's a Aryan scripture. I know it's Jeremiah. Jeremiah says it where in, in, in Jeremiah's book, uh, his book of prophecy, it says that, um, and they trim their way to be loved. You understand? They trim their way to be loved. I notice that for a lot of Christians and a lot of so-called people who might have a religious spirit, and it's not a really just spirit. You know, all of a sudden they have a religious spirit. They'll, they'll, they'll give you little bits and barbs of the Bible. And, and folks who are not really into the Bible, you know, this one go to church all the time and so forth and so on, you know, you would think, well, they know. I always see they got a Bible, so forth and so on. But never say somebody else knows something that you don't know nothing about. Mm hmm Because you you can't really say they really know something unless you know about it. You think that they, you know, that they might know. It sounds like it. You know what I mean? But but check it out for yourself, in other words. It, it says in the Scripture, why trimmest? Thou thy way to be loved. Let's see if we can find that. I think this should be one verse, Jeremiah. Jeremiah 2 and 20. 2 and 23. What's going on here? All right. 2 and 23. Let's kind of keep it moving. We'll, we'll, we'll get back to that. 2 and 23, right? Jeremiah 2 and 23. We won't get into this vid right here. Satanic Vatican full length. If any of y'all can download it, you know, definitely download it. It's like four, what is it? It's like four hours and 44 minutes, 444. Four, four. It's kind of interesting. I don't know if that was done intentionally. Or that's, just how it, that's just how it worked out right there. But Jeremiah chapter, chapter 2, right, chapter 2. This is on the trimming, the trimmings, the trimmings, why trimmings. You know, because after a while it gets a little irksome, you know, like when you finally become born again and you start to love the word and, you, and you're studying and you're finding things you heard from people, people saying it, but you always find that it, it's, it sounds like it, 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 it is what it is. It's like, remind me of that story of Solomon and the jinn and the, and the Aganint that he had power over, the demons he had power over, and he had brought Sheba's throne, right? And he had, because it might have had some symbology on it. It seems like it was like he had it flipped upside down to a degree, right? So whether it was like a, a five-pointed star upside down, it was flipped around the other way. So he asked the Queen of Sheba, when he showed her her, her throne, he said, is this your throne? And she says, it's as if it were, 
You know what I mean? So when they be saying these things, you know, she was wise. She said, oh, you know, it says, if it were, you, you understand? Because it, it, it's like the top was on bottom and the bottom was on top. I don't know if that was in one of the Jewish or or whether it was um, or maybe an Ethiopic source or maybe an Arabic or Mohammedan uh, Islamic source that this was written in. The Islamic sources generally have come from the, Jew, the, the Judaic and the Ethiopic sources, right? But um, verse 2 and, th and, and uh, chapter 2, verse 33 of Jeremiah, the prophet, it says, Why trimmest thou thy way to seek love? Why do you trim your way, the way, the way of Jah, the way of God? Why do you trim it to, to be liked by the world? You understand? You say, well, I don't want to offend them. You understand? So who are you offending? Who are you really offending anyway, right? It goes on to say, Therefore hast thou also taught the wicked ones thy ways. Mm-hmm. Therefore, you have also taught the wicked ones thy ways. Now, if you look at the fuller context of Jeremiah, right, and I see there's an there's a Ethiopia application, um, you know, uh, um, 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 to this as well, um, right, look at verse 30, it says, in vain have I smitten your children, the, you know, the careless generation of Ethiopians, they're complaining, and there's next video that we had up here too, let's see if we can, okay, and here we go, excuse me people, you know, they have all these, all these nanobots, right, all these nanobots on the computer, Right. Um, uh, in vain they've been smitten. They received no correction. Your own sword hath devoured your prophets. You understand? Such as when His Majesty had, um, um, as they say, disappeared from his uh, um, under house arrest from the captors, and they had killed those four priests. Your own sword. You know what I'm saying? Your own sword has um, smitten your prophets like a devouring lion. You know what I'm saying? Not, not the lion of Judah anymore, but now it's a raging, a satanic lion, right? Have smitten your own, your own prophets. It says, O generation, see ye the word of the Lord. In other words, don't you see, right? Don't you see, in, the, in other words, don't you see the word of the Lord? Don't you see the manifestation of the prophecy? Don't you see the word of the Lord? Right? Don't you see? Can't, can you not see the word of the Lord? He hideth his face. Right? From that generation, he returns to his place. You understand? And, and, and furthermore, this is, this, is the, this is the translation, the rough copy of the translation. Don't you see the word? You understand? This is spiritual warfare, as you can see. Ficada Jesus, the explication of Jesus or Jesus, right? Of Jesus, um, and just get into while while the picture, you know, Abba Kedus. Don't you see the word of the Lord? People say, well, how can that be? You understand? How can that be? You understand? How can that be? For my part, right? For my part, I glory in the Bible. You understand? Have smitten your prophets. You understand? Have in this in this verse right here from um from the wisdom of Sirach, right? Bezich Alem the Mekara Yewedeku Mekwanent Dzu Nacho Zod Yete Kedaje Bahitawim Alle Right? Many kings have sat down upon the ground, and one that was never thought of hath won the crown. One that was never thought of. They don't think of him. They remove his name, right? But he has a new name. And our translation right here of this is, In this world, many are the nobles that have fallen in tribulation, troubled times, right? Troubled times. And there is a crown of Bahitawi, a Nazarite, a Nazarene, a dreadlocked one, who has gained the crown 
of favor or mogus by way of success or coming out ahead. His imperial majesty has come out ahead, and those with him have also come out of head, uh, come out ahead because he is the ras, right? He is the head. Now, if the body rejects the head and it's headless, what what's going to happen? It's going to run around like a chicken, right? Isn't, isn't that what, what what happens? You cut off the head. You understand? You cut off the head of the chicken and 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 it runs around. This is what we see is happening with Africa. We see it happen with Ethiopia. We see it happen with black people. You understand? We see it happen with the whole world and the global situation. So these are two. Two. One is one is Amarinya Bicha, basically only in Amharic. This one right here, this pocket size one, and this one right here um, is a um, we'll call this uh, a, a raw translation, right, a raw translation, and we're going to hopefully get into a little more annotation of it, but just so that ones can have a basic, a basic view, you understand, a basic view of this, this little book, we talk about the little book, right, the little book, and, and that's uh, 5, Hosea 5 and 15, you understand, that's the image from Hosea 5 and 15, right, if you go and and check it out for yourself. All right, so um, a little bit of technical difficulty right here, right now, right? So stay tuned, and hopefully we'll get into part two a little bit more on the on on the Vatican, the assassins, the Pope, uh, the Shepherd of Hermes, and um, Revelation, revealing the truth. Shalom, Ras. Tefari.